Hello everybody! This video will show you how to enter BIOS or UEFI in a computer or laptop and how to make them boot from a flash drive or a CD or DVD. BIOS is a set of microcode that allows you to adjust the components of your system unit, as well as uh, set the boot sequence from CD, DVD or a flash drive in order to install an operating system. UEFI is a modern version of BIOS that has a graphic interface. To get into BIOS or UEFI, restart your PC. Right after starting the computer, you will see a window showing the key sequence to enter the BIOS. In my case, it says press DEL to enter setup, where DELETE is the button to press. It may be different for various PC or BIOS manufacturers. For example, instead of deleting can be F12, F10, F2, Escape and other buttons. Read more about it in the description of this video. I'd like to note that some Bluetooth keyboards may not work with BIOS, so it is better to use an ordinary USB keyboard. There are three main types of BIOS – Award, Phoenix Award, AMI, American Megatrends, and UEFI. Let's study each of them. Award, Phoenix Award BIOS looks like this. There are quite many versions of this BIOS and yours can be a little different, but the following steps will be similar. In order to boot from a flash drive or disk, go to Advanced BIOS features. There is no mouse support in this kind of BIOS, so you need to use up and down arrows to select a section, and enter and escape keys to enter or exit a section. In the next window, look for Hard Disk Boot Priority and First Boot Device. If you want to boot from CD or DVD, then change first boot device selection to CD-ROM. If you want to boot from a flash drive, go to the same section Advanced BIOS features as before, but change the selection in first boot device to hard disk. After that, go to hard disk boot priority and select the USB flash drive to be the first item. Now you should save changes to BIOS. At the bottom of the screen you can see a hint about the saving button. In my case it is F10. Press this key and here comes a warning. To save changes, press Y and then Enter. Modern versions of BIOS Award, Phoenix Award, look like this. Things are a bit different here. Pressing the right arrow key, go to Boot tab. If you want to boot from a CD or DVD, then use up and down arrows to highlight the line CD-ROM drive and then press the key plus to move it to the first position. After that, save changes by pressing F10, highlight Yes and press Enter. If you want to boot from a flash drive, use the key plus to move the line removable devices to the first position, highlight it press Enter and select the flash drive from the list. After that, save changes as in the case with a CD or DVD. AMI – American Megatrends BIOS looks like this. As you can see, it looks very much like a modern award BIOS. Pressing the right or left arrow key, go to Boot tab. If you want to boot from a CD or DVD, use Enter to go to the section Boot Device Priority and then to First Boot Device. From the list of devices, select CD-ROM and save changes with the F10 key, just as you did in the previous BIOS. If you want to boot from a flash drive, select Hard Disk in the tab First Boot Device. Go back to the previous window by pressing the key Escape. Uh, go to the section Hard Disk Drives and select the flash drive in the tab First Drive. After that, save changes with F10 key. Here is another example of AMI BIOS. Go to the tab Storage and choose Boot Order. Move the necessary device – CD or DVD-ROM or USB flash drive – to the first position. To do it, select the device, press Enter and move it with up and down arrows. After that, save changes with F10. Go to the File section, press Save Changes and Exit, and confirm the operation. UEFI BIOS has a lot of variations. The first example is UEFI Gigabyte. 
Using the mouse or arrow keys, go to the BIOS Settings tab. In the section Boot Device No. 1, select the necessary device you want to boot from – a DVD-ROM or a flash drive – USB hard drive. Then go to the section Save and Exit, press Save and Leave Settings and confirm this step by clicking Yes. Another example is Dell Business UFI BIOS Setup. It is also very simple. Go to the tab General and then to Boot Sequence. Check the boxes next to the devices you need and then go to the right window to move the USB drive or CD or DVD-ROM to the first position with up and down arrows. After that, click Apply and then Exit. After booting from the device, you will have to go to BIOS or UFI again and change its settings back to booting from the hard disk to prevent booting from flash drive every time you start your computer. You can also use Boot Menu to boot from a flash drive or a CD or DVD. I will show how to do it in one of my next videos. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. We'll be glad to answer any questions in comments. Thank you for watching and good luck!